What is going on guys, DBG here, and in this video we are going to be talking about one mistake that so many people make at the very start of NBA 2K, my team. Why I think it is going to be an absolute disaster if you make this mistake going into 21, and how honestly, for a lot of new players, especially if you are watching this and you're considering picking up the game or you've just picked up the game on launch and you're not really that experienced with MB playing NBA 2K games, this one mistake potentially could be the difference between you having a really good enjoyment of the entire thing, of the entire game mode, and you deciding to pack it in after one day. And also, even for experienced players, this could put you two to three steps back on where you would have been otherwise. And I know a lot of people have talked about this and a lot of the people, really, you're only going to hear this tip from someone who's had a lot of experience with the game mode, because most people will not give this as one of their key tips, but I think that of all things in my team, this might be the one, the most common mistake, and also one of the like easiest ones to rectify and put yourself in a better position going on. So before we get on to it, if you guys are new to the channel, subscribe, we upload more my team content than anywhere else. And trust me, trust me, if there is any other My Team channel run by an individual in 2K21 that uploads more often than I do, I will give out five copies of 2K22 next gen. I'm making that deal right now. But um, yeah, so basically, what this one mistake is, it's going right into playing the game online. And there is a number of reasons why I don't think this is a good idea. And I'm also going to explain a little bit, again, I've explained a lot of it yesterday in the things to do, and I'm going to go a lot more in-depth into this one thing now. Early on in the year, the servers day one are going to not work. And we see this every year. I talked about it again previously, but every single year, the servers do not work. And is it acceptable? No. Will I be angry day one? When it happens should we be angry when it happens as consumers yes There's, we should not give 2k a pass for it but just know it's going to happen so i'm not by any means saying you know what um give 2k a pass but we gotta know what's happening and we gotta not expect the servers to work because they're not going to they're not going to Sir, anytime a server gets overloaded, just like a server with like that have been used to maybe 20, 30 players max, suddenly gets 800,000 people on it on the first day. There, anytime a server gets overloaded from nothing, they're going to stop working. They're not going to work great. Heck, I'm a Leeds United fan for soccer, and the Leeds United shop, I can guarantee you, there's not or there's not going to be anywhere near as many people. The Leeds United website goes down every time they release anything new onto it into the shop. So basically, yeah, just expect that to happen. So the servers are not gonna work. Also, if you're going out day one and playing online, you're gonna be playing a lot of sweats. I'm gonna say that right now. Like, especially if you are one of those people to get the game early. So if you end up getting the game quite early and you're gonna be playing a lot of sweats, especially, that means if you are a kind of new player and your team's bad, you're gonna come up against a lot of not, like you're gonna struggle, you're gonna struggle. Like, let's be real, you will struggle. However, another thing that a lot of people don't realize is whatever, like Unlimited 2.0, they may start straight away with a Limited. They may start with a My Team Limited week one, but I don't think so, because I think they said the season six weeks and there's five championship rings, but you never know, there might be a My Team Limited day one. They're not gonna work. They're not going to count wins. They're not going to give prizes. I don't know what the problems are going to be. Like, it's very, very difficult to predict what the problems are going to be. However, there will be problems. That is the only thing I'm going to say, is there will be problems. It's not going to work perfectly. And for that reason, I definitely wouldn't suggest going into either of those game modes straight away. Hey, if you, if you want to have fun and play online with a weak team, go ahead, be my guest. But don't go out with a weak team as well at the same time as when games aren't going to count and you're just going to be losing contracts, you're going to be losing games where you shouldn't, it's going to be a struggle. Then, also another big thing is that you are going to be significantly more rewarded for playing the game offline. I'm sorry, for playing the game online, Glenn Rice and 
I'm trying to even think who else there was that was kind of worth going for, that was attainable. Like, obviously, Glenn was really great for going 12-0 in May. Baron Davis in November. Apart from that, there's not really been any... Like, there's not really been any that I would say are particularly worth going for those 12 and 0 rewards. And that's all we had for online. Every other reward came from being offline. So I genuinely do think that the offline rewards are going to be significantly, significantly better. And for that reason, again, if you guys want to get the best team possible, stick to offline. Stick to domination, where we know we're going to be getting probably 30 cards on the way in current domination. We know for um, historic domination, we're gonna get something pretty decent. And we know for all time domination, we're going to be getting an insanely good George Mikan card. Having played with George Mikan in the demo, I'm telling you that George Mikan's gonna be incredible. I can guarantee you that whatever the reward is for TT Offline is gonna be a pretty decent reward as well. And do I think Bob Lanier for Ascension is gonna be good? No. Do I think Steph Curry is gonna be good? Maybe. Steph Curry for the season may might be good, but Heck, by the time we get that card, we'll probably be four weeks into the season, even the people that are grinding the most. No one's getting that in the first couple of days. So, domination is going to be much, much more rewarding than playing online. I know it can be boring, but on day one, you know what? When you're playing domination, you can try out new things. If you don't really know how to play the game, you can get used to your releases, especially for the, um, the stick releases. You can get a little bit more used to that because the delay is not as bad on the stick. And at the end of the day, it is just not a preferable thing to play online i think it's a mistake that so many people make i have friends that again most of my friends that play 2k don't play 2k that seriously like and what they will always say is oh i tried to play online and i lagged out these are guys that buy the game day one or i tried to play online and it just wasn't working properly i just um the lag was really bad i lagged out of games as well as that I am um, that they just couldn't win because they didn't know the meta yet so again you're coming up against people that might know the meta a lot better than you and you're just just it could just be a struggle so I definitely would advise for the first I'm not even gonna say too long but I genuinely think say the game comes out Friday I'm gonna say maybe to like Sunday or Monday I think that's probably the like ideal time to go online but I think up until Sunday or Monday, the game's still going to be in a not great state and definitely would not suggest you guys going out of your way to play the game modes online. I know I won't be. I know most of the guys that are planning on playing this game seriously for the year won't touch online for a couple of days, but yeah, um, it is what it is. If you want to do it, go for it, but just be warned that the likelihood is, is you won't be rewarded at all and by the time the servers and everything gets fixed and the game starts working perfectly, you've put yourself way behind people that have grinded offline and built up their squads a lot more. Especially early on in the year, the cards you can grind for heck, even cards you can grind for in a, an hour or two are gonna be significantly better than cards you can buy. Like Sapphire Terrence Ferguson last year, Pro 8, Gold Clamps, Quick First Step, was better than Kawhi Leonard and better than Paul George. He was better than every current card not named Giannis. And then there was a whole bunch of other ones that were better than say the Steph Curry's of the world. LeBron James is always terrible. So just always keep an eye. I think to especially if you go with something like Domination, token rewards are gonna get you an awful lot of great cards. And yeah, that is pretty much it. I know I did talk about this a little bit in my ultimate guide and it was like a short point, but I think I really need to stress this because there are a lot of people that are gonna make this mistake. Heck, I've made this mistake a lot of years. I made this mistake in 2K17. I made this mistake. I didn't do it in 2K16, in fairness. I just did a whole bunch of domination to start 2K16, I, but I did make this mistake in 2K17, and I also made this mistake in NBA 2K18 as well. So yeah, that is pretty much it. That's the video. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Rebound, then it's dry, man. Tasting with the fade, not the air, my hands rocking. When I link with ball,